Hello BookTube, and I'm here with an announcement for New Worlds November. And I am a co-host this year again for the event created by the Bookish Bryant, Scott and Becky Bryant. And it is a month-long celebration of science fiction in the short form, meaning short stories, uh, novels, novelettes, novellas, 250 pages or less. We have weekly prompts, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, and th there's th these guidelines, but they don't have to be followed. The idea is to introduce science fiction through the short form, for, through the short story, basically, which has been the foundation and helped the growth of science fiction uh, through magazines in the uh, early to mid 20th century. And it is a very, very good way of getting into science fiction. And the prompts are just prompts. Um, if you want to follow them, there, there is structure. And the first week is terrestrial. So read a work that is set on planet Earth. Week two is extraterrestrial. Find a work and read a work that is, or more than one, that takes place on a planet other than Earth, or a, a off Earth. Number three is read a work of classic science fiction, and this is published before 1965. The reason for that date is uh, where sort of the new wave science fiction began to take hold and change things so pre-1965 and usually it's class between 1895 and 1965 you can go further back than that uh, but it's a little difficult to shoehorn the idea of science fiction onto a lot of the stories which you can do but uh, usually the, uh, the publication of the time machine is considered the beginning of the sort of classical area era of science fiction. I will get more into this and the sort of the labels and, um, terms such as golden age science fiction during that week, or at least I hope to. Week four is a holdover from, from last year, which is robots and AI. It's a uh, read a work that is centered around robots or artificial intelligence. But this year we've got sub themes, uh, a bit of a scavenger hunt of 13 themes that um, every week you can, uh, if you're in terrestrial, to try to see how many of these can you get in one story or read a number of stories that have these themes in, but still work within the, the, uh, main, the, the, the main, um, prompt. That's, that's the idea. But again, this is all optional. Uh, but we've got alien archeology, span Xeno archeology, span uh, alien romance, translated work, alternate worlds slash dimensions, far future, War slash military, genre crossing, first contact, time travel, invasion, humorous, political, and libraries. So yeah, so it'll be fun trying to find books or, uh, you know, short novels or short stories that um, have these themes in and is, uh, Sort of as many as you can. I what I'm tr going to try to do is is uh, try to try to. Well, one of the things I'm going to try to do is to have alien archaeology in as many of these themes as I possibly can, and then I'll I'll try to add in other other ones as well. And for extra credit, we're doing uh, it's visit a parallel universe. To read a story or a book, and then watch, listen, or read the same work adapt, adapted into another medium. And that could be a movie, radio broadcast, uh, graphic novels, television show, 
whatever whatever you want it just to to uh, see how uh, the printed word is adapted into another another form now we've got as I say we I'm a ho I'm a co-host the uh, main hosts are the bookish Bryants they're Steve Donahue Michael K Vaughn Brandy at the book Eclectic Greg at another bibliophile reads. Jim reads too slow. Mark at book time with Elvis. Uh, Chris at unlimited reads. And Matt at science fiction reads. Uh, the rambling reviewer, read by Fred. Gareth at books, songs, and other magic. So those are currently our hosts, including myself, for New Worlds November. Now, I have not been uh, very well um, in the past few weeks. I'm still hoping and planning to continue to do um, events. Um, and for November, it's um, um, New Worlds November, but also Hell for the Holidays to read Hal Clement uh, for November, December, and January. And that is part of, well, that is Brandy's uh, Book Eclectic's uh, reading events. And it just dovetails nicely with New World's November. So there will be some crossover, I'm sure. Uh, I will see if I can do some crossover with uh, New World's November themes and prompts as as well as hell for the holidays and um that's about it and i hope you will join us and if you've not read science fiction before this is a good way to do it uh there's a good guide um feel free to email me to ask me any questions uh or in in the in the comments below uh just you know uh read one short story a week you know see if you can find uh, one of these things that uh, has an interest in you, that you have an interest in, and uh, try to uh, work it into the the themes or the prompts. But e even if even if not, if there's a science fiction novel that's even longer than 250 pages that you've wanted to read, and it's been sitting on your shelf, uh, you know, and you just want to read the one book, then feel free to. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, that's the aim of it is to, to get science fiction read, uh, and to, uh, to introduce as well. Anyway, uh, thank you booktube. And as I say, hopefully things will go well, uh, and I can, I can complete the month. Um, but any questions, as I say, feel free to us to ask in the comments or, uh, via email. Thank you, BookTube.